All right, so I'm going to try out a zero to 60 test, but I have a lot of disclaimers that are gonna go along with this. First of all, this has probably been the most difficult vehicle to launch. And the reason being is that it's fairly lightweight, it's front wheel drive, and it has tons of torque. And so when you put all these factors together, if your throttle application isn't perfect, it's not a very forgiving system and you're just gonna get a ton of wheel spin, and so your time's gonna be bad. Now this car is capable of very good time, somewhere in the five and a half second range if it's done perfectly. But as you can see, these are not perfect conditions. It's raining and it's been raining all week, so the ground is soaked. Uh, and that said, I'm only gonna do this a couple times, so I'm sure my time isn't gonna be that great. So don't look at my time as being the benchmark for it. Uh, it's certainly possible to do better, especially if the throttle application is perfect and you have dry conditions. Now it's worth mentioning how I'm going to be timing the 0 to 60. So I've done the math based on the gear ratios, the final drive ratio, and the size of the tires. And basically what happens is in second gear, this should hit the rev limiter at 6800 RPM at exactly 60 miles per hour. So the way I'm going to time it is take the time from a stop till when it gets to the rev limiter in second gear, which is at 6800 RPM. And regardless of what the speedometer reads there, which will probably be around 58, 59, I'm gonna take that time and that'll be close enough to our zero to 60 time. So for my zero to 60 test, I'm going to leave traction control on, otherwise it's just gonna spin the tires. I'm gonna try and feather the throttle so that I'm not getting too much wheel spin and try and keep it at peak grip. But of course, you know, that's easier said than done. So I'm gonna just gonna ease onto the throttle from first gear and we'll see what happens. Just getting wheel spin, just getting wheel spin, still spinning, and there's 60. Okay, so let's try a pull. We're gonna try and be light with the throttle application so we don't get much wheel slip. Still plenty of wheel slip. Okay, so we're gonna try this one more time, but this time what we're gonna do differently is leave it in second gear. And before you think that's a crazy idea, second gear in this car is actually more aggressive than its reverse gear, which is very strange. You rarely ever see that in cars. And also, since we're in a situation where we're traction limited, we can eliminate the time it takes to shift, and because we're traction limited, it shouldn't uh, make the time any slower. So we'll see what happens. We'll try launching in second gear, once again leaving the traction control on, and then trying to modulate the throttle to limit wheel spin.